A presidential hopeful makes a pit stop in the borderland. The rally for Senator Bernie Sanders attracted thousands of people to Vado, New Mexico this afternoon. Good evening, everyone. I'm Megan Lopez. Supporters of the Democratic candidate packed a field at Vado Elementary School for his speech. CBS 4 at 10's Ashley Cullinane is live here to show us the crowds who braved the sun to truly feel the burn today. Feel the burn is right. This small community in the spotlight soaked up every minute of it. People lined up hours ahead of Sanders scheduled noontime speech just to get a spot right in front of the stage. Blocks of supporters feeling the burn. A little warm for Bernie, I think. Some a little more literally, waiting hours for the presidential hopeful. And he's definitely one of the only candidates that comes to, um, you know, traditionally looked over marginal communities like this. Alex Burnside got a little closer to the action, introducing the man himself. Senator Bernie Sanders. Burnside believes Sanders attracted a younger generation to today's rally and says that is essential. But Bernie potentially wins the, the under 30 vote by like 75, 85 percent. I think we're not just the future of the Democratic Party, but I think we're the future of progressive and all politics here in America. So the crowd is filling in here at Avado Elementary School. There are thousands. And just to put that in perspective, the population of Avado is just more than 3,000. There are more people here than the entire population. But I was speaking with a young woman named Savannah here. She's from here. She went to this elementary school, and I was just talking to her. Savannah, can you remember the last big event that happened? Happened here? Um, probably getting a new car wash. Yes. Getting a new car wash. <laughs> this rally not without protests. Okay, really, answer me. When is enough? When do we call it? Do we let everybody in? Sanders supporters in Vado say they'll be backing Bernie even if he doesn't win the nomination. We may not get it this year, but we're still going to be here. We're still burning, and we're still going to go all the way through until the convention. Thank you all very much. I guess some people, if they thought this was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, some said yes, but others say they're hoping this trip will make future presidential candidates come to the borderland during other election years. In the studio, Ashley Cullinane, CBS 4 at 10.